Right, so today I saw The Avengers, and I don't care what they've renamed it in the UK, it's called The Avengers, and that's end off. Anywho, here's my review for this amazing film. Gross. So this film was directed by Joss Whedon, who also directed Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which I liked, and Cabin in the Woods, which I liked. My review's up on the channel if you want to watch it. I went into this film with such high expectations due to me reviewing all the, the other films for you. It got me into the spirit of the Avengers, and I can tell you, this film does not disappoint. I don't think there's anyone in the world now that doesn't know that this is the um, Marvel crossover team type thing, and I'm going to try and name them all now and do the play. Right, so there is Macrofoil, who plays Bruce Banner, Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, Robert Downey Jr., who plays Iron Man, Scarlett Johansson, who plays Black Widow, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, and Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye. They are all trying to defeat Tom Hiddleston as Loki. And I am so glad to say there is not a weak link in this film. Chris Evans has owned his part as Captain America and improved it since his own film, which was shit. And I'm glad to say Mark Ruffalo is amazing as Bruce Banner. He comes across even smarter than Edward Norton was, because I was a bit sceptical about Mark Ruffalo in this film, because he wasn't in the prequel and stuff like that, and I thought that Marvel had gone in the wrong direction, but I'm going to now trust Marvel because it was an amazing direction, and I believe him more than I believe Edward Norton in The Incredible Hulk. The CGI of the Hulk has also improved from The Incredible Hulk, which, granted, we do have more technology now, since it's four years down the line, from when The Incredible Hulk came out. But yes. He looks so much better, and again, Robert Downey Jr. plays Tony Stark as if it was his own. I, I love the way he interprets this playboy billionaire, wise-cracking genius. And this is my first look at Chris Hemsworth as Thor since I missed the film. And he's a really good actor, which I knew from Coming in the Woods, but he plays Thor really well. I like the way that he sounds like the god. Kind of the bare minimum if you want to be Thor, but did a very good job of it. He also acts as he's above everyone else, which I liked because he's meant to be the god and you want actors if you're the same as the mere mortals, so I liked that. And then there's three agents, there's um, Black Widow, Hawkeye and Nick Fury. And these are just badass portrayals, they are so cool, you don't know what they're going to do next. And I've also been told to include Scarlett Johansson is fit, so go see the film. Then there's Tom Hiddleston as Loki and this guy was born to be a, be a villain. He is amazing. He plays the God of mis Mischief, just how I imagined him. Because I can't talk about how he was in Thor because I didn't see it, which I was a bit miffed off about, really. Now, the only thing I can find wrong about this film is that when we came out, my girlfriend says to me that there were some references that she didn't understand and it ruined a tiny bit of the film for her. So, if I were you, I'd push your boat out and get all these films for about 20 quid before you go see The Avengers, because they're really good films and gives you in more insight to the characters than if you want to watch them. And some of you might be saying, oh, it's just another guy film, another whole action superhero thing. But there are quite a lot of jokes in it. In fact, I could take it for an action comedy at times, but um, all these jokes and wisecracks, they all land, I am glad to say, and they are hilarious. My favourite part of this film is it shows that The Avengers didn't get along straight away. And they did have the disagreements, and they did fight for them. And I liked that, because if it were just magically, they were all friends and stuff like that, I'd have been a bit disappointed, because that never happens. This film is a hefty 144 minutes long, and it was cut down from 3 or 4 hours. So, I was looking for plot holes, and I've got to say, I can't find any from when it's cut it down. Which I'm very glad about. And I hope they do include the four or three hour version on the Blu-ray. Because it'd be nice to see what it's had to cut out and see how good it'd fit in. Now I believe this film to be an utter masterpiece. And it's the first of my reviews to get five out of five stars. And so subscribe up here and come back every Monday when I'm putting a new review up. And thank you for watching. We have a Hulk. Mm -hmm.